Guys, there's a uh, raid vehicle blocking the en entrance of uh, the uh, downstairs zone. I don't come up. Go up through the elevator. Hey, who's got a change of clothes in the boot of the fucking car? Is it clothes in here or not? Yeah, there is, mate. So your cops are at the yeah, front of the club. They kicked out um, yellow. You say cops are at the front of our clubhouse? Yep, they're kicking people out. Antonio, I need you to come see me, mate. I've got something I need you to take care of if you could. Oh, I'm 100% getting followed by Polo. Right, we're going to split up, okay? They're all sitting in our car park. Is that you, Antonio? I need you to get us to safety. Alright, oh, thanks, mate. No workers. Are we staying clear of Cody? We sure are. As soon as they get us in their hands, and they make everyone pull out all their fucking shit, and it'll be a long, painful night. The, the area that they've blocked off, mate, is big. It's bigger than just, just the Cody. Alright, the one you just want to make some quick cash. Yeah, what do you need, buddy? I need to borrow a car that's all blacked out, black tinted windows, a whole lot, eh? Job, mate, GTR. Anything, mate. Yeah, with your hands up, cunt. Yeah, with your hands up. As fucking Invictus trying to pull me over. How the fuck they know it's me? They're trying to fucking chase me now. Just what we fucking need, eh? They're trying to get. They're going to try to get you to the police. Ten out, out, of the out of the car. Out of the car. Out of the car. Top of the morning. What can I do for you guys this evening? What can I do for you guys this yeah, evening? Near, uh, Could somebody please tell me what's going on here? You'll get told shortly. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. What the fuck are you guys doing? Can someone please fucking explain themselves? Alright, I'm gonna take your mask off for you, bro. I have no clue if it's Ducky or not. Look, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks exactly like Douglas Stone, except my man's wearing one ear pier. I'm telling you guys now, my name's Gary. Gary who? Gary Peterson. If you are who you are, you might as well say it now. My name's Gary. Gary Peterson. Gary Peterson. I work for Rack V. I'm trying to get to TBT. It's been a big goal of mine for quite some time. I don't understand what's happening this evening. If I've repaired one of you guys' cars wrong, on the bottom of my heart, I apologize. Just uh, please don't take me out this evening. I've got two kids, a wife. Look, is this necessary, guys? It is. If you are who you are, it is. All right, where are we going? We've got fucking polar on us. You say anything, Douglas? If this is you, you know that cops will fuck you harder than we will. It's very overwhelming, gentlemen. Yeah, mate. Well, for someone who's a fucking RACV driver, you fucking sure do have a bounty on your head. Watch out, please. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? We're getting fucking placed fuck right now. Guys, what's going on here, please? What the fuck is that? Cops are just shooting us. Guys. Guys, fuck. They're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me! Holy fuck! Dusty, who's on standby? Uh, Preston and someone behind us, Dimitri is behind us as well. Uh, what, which camera can... What can I do for you guys? Fuck me! Your ID, please. I don't have any identification on me. Have a look, take me back to the station, do what you gotta do for fuck's sake. Howdy, howdy. Now, uh, sir, what is your name? Gary Peterson. Okay, well, go ahead and put him in the helicopter. We'll fingerprint him at station. Nice and comfortable back there, sir. Yeah, it's a very unexpected situation. I, like I said, I'd rather not like to know what I'm in uh, in custody for this current time. We'll, um, we'll clear all that up for you when we get back to the station. Uh, we're about to fingerprint him, so we'll get the uh, honest truth in a hot minute. Sir, my name is Inspector Jeshin Vidal of Victoria Police. You're currently being uh, detained under suspicion of being the outlaw Douglas Stone. You're about to be served with an outlaw order for you and the Suits Mafia, which is a confirmed criminal organization. You're about to have a meeting with uh, some very special people, at which time you'll be returned to our custody and we will be executing a raid on you and all of your properties. Do you understand this, sir? Well, that's what a suspicion is. What gives you a reason to believe that I'm Douglas Stone? Well, we had a lot of people saying Douglas Stone is in an RACV uniform and you were fleeing from police, so we can arrest you for simply fleeing from police. I was never fleeing from you. police. I was, in, I was in custody. I got kidnapped up at a cemetery garage. You got kidnapped? Well, let's go ahead and just verify your identity downstairs. And, yeah, absolutely uh, not a worry. I don't think you're letting me know what I'm actually here for. Well, you know, we just had to get to a station first. Who knows, somebody could have shot a firework launcher at my fucking helicopter or something. Oh, that would have been a real shame. It's a photocopier. Uh, it's a fingerprint machine. Looks like a photocopier to me. Uh, okay, so you're coming back as a Scott O'Reilly. Very interesting. No, you're coming back as Douglas Stone. You're currently under arrest, Mr. Stone. Oh. Come on, Mr. Stone. Would you like a water or anything? Yeah, I'd like a beer as well, eh? You want a beer? Uh, I got whiskey. Yeah, whiskey will do. Would you like me to bring you a suit? And yeah, I would have. Thank you, know, you very much. Beautiful, thanks, buddy. 
What do you got in here? You got a fedora as well? What the fuck's in the box? We, we've arrested you guys so many times. We have all of your outfits in there. We got the gold chains. We got the black shirts. We got the things of cigar in there. Really? A cigar as well? You're really treating me like a VIP tonight, mate. Thank you very much. Right now, at this current juncture, I have five off-site hostages. Now, if my men don't hear from me in an appropriate time, those lives okay, will so be lost. Okay, so let me ask you something. How do you know this? So you had them before you were kidnapped? Because you haven't had access to a phone, right? So... You didn't think we knew this raid was coming. Why do you think I was dressed as a rack V driver? Like I said, it's a game of chess, okay, not so chickens. why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say that sooner? Well, I was asking for the phone call and uh, it was being refused. Yeah. I thought maybe for that, I should let the lies be lost to teach you a lesson not to refuse those of their rights. Hey, traffic 150 to 77. We have a hostile hostage situation downstairs. We come to floor three. I'll let you go and give you a million dollars if you tell me where the hostages are. Negative. Okay. You think my men are going to well, cooperate with you guys? You think these guys don't I mean, already have millions of dollars? We wipe our ass with that sort of look money. Look at him. He, he, he looks like he'd use a million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bolingbroke Prison, where the local time is 11.13 p.m. and the temperature is approximately 13 degrees. Uh, for your safety, please remain in your seat with your seatbelt fastened at all times. Okay, Mr. Stone, as you are currently threatening the lives of five people, we're going to start with you so we can get you done first, okay? So basically what's happening is we have 30,000 police officers and we are basically seizing your assets and bringing them to this location. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, okay. What do you mean? Just here. Fuck. Welcome back, Mr. Stone. Fine. We're out of here, boys. Let's go. <laughs> this We're guy. out of here, motherfuckers. Hey. hey. Oh, I'm oh, oh, fuck. No. No. Hey. hey. Hey, Mr. Douglas Stone, you're being issued 150 weeks. Fuck it up, the <laughs> Beautiful. And soon enough, you'll be sentenced to life. Hey, what's up, boss? Hey, Dimitri, I need something very important done. It's a big reward. Yeah, what's up? I need five dead bodies outside Vinewood 900. These five? Five, five dead bodies. Now, you let those poor hostages know the reason for this, mate, is due to Vic Paul. All right, you make it be yeah. known to them that this isn't a random encounter. You let them know that the Don of the Mafia was held up by Vic Pohl. Now, if they were made aware their five innocent lives would be lost if they failed to uh, negotiate and comply with instructions. Nick, run, 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 no, I'm actually out of prison. I've just uh, spoken a fat human cigar, relaxing, enjoying life. I'm out. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Mr. Stone. Look, uh, I was hoping you might give me Jishin's number. You know what? I'm sure he would love to talk to you. Let me give him a tingle. Thanks, Natasha. I could always count on you. Howdy, howdy. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, Jishin, how are we? Oh my god, how'd you get out so quick, guy? I told you, you should have kept that man on me. I told you I wouldn't do one of me tickets, and I was a man of me word. I didn't do a single one, and now I'm a free man smoking a fat Cuban cigar drinking whiskey. Stone, what are you going to do when I just keep adding time? Like, like when you get 500 weeks, you're just going to keep escaping? Just say you're going to catch me. I mean, we catch you plenty, but apparently we can't keep you. we got to put you, like, in a fucking cage or something. You know, even then I'll find my way out, Jish, and there's a nickname I got a little while ago. It's called uh, Slippery Stone. You know, whether it be slipping yeah, well, into a car, getting myself found a, you know, I'm almost like the Houdini of Victoria. Well, Mr. Houdini of Victoria, the next time we arrest you, uh, we're not going to do regular prison. We're going to do therapy session. I'm going to get a mica. We're going to do a therapy to find out why you're just so criminal. And uh, we'll do 30 minutes of it, and then I'll release you from prison. And I'll be with you the whole time. Just looking deep into your eyes. We'll connect on a personal level. It'll be great. Even then, I'll always find my way out. What I can say is this. Check, mate. Mate, I can see two cars at Tash Vidal's house. Well, I've got eyes on Tash Vidal right the fuck now. I need everyone 709 right the fuck now. Bring a four door car. Let's go. All units moving. Oh, 
Holy shit. Communication. Pay the communication. I'm not moving. I am not moving. Now, I just Holy want to confirm. Shit. Do you guys have any identification on you? Yes. Uh, yes. This is the residence of Pashford Down. Guys, I am very I sorry for this, but look. I, yeah, I, know if I believe your father weapons. and your father-in-law has, uh, you know, left us no chance. So what I'm going to do is get you guys out of here very, very quick. What, your dad? He's my made a very what? bad move, is what he's done. He's fucked with the Mafia. But the Mafia shows what? no fucking mercy. Let's oh, go. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Who are you guys? For now, it's best uh, we leave that unseen. Alrighty. Howdy, howdy. What can I do for you? Well, Jishin, what's the last you know, thing I said to you? I don't know. Chick mate. That, what, so what What happened? What's up? What'd you, you do? If I told you my custody right now, I have Tash Vidal and your beloved son Adonis. So you're telling me that you have Tash Vidal and Adonis Vidal hostage and you're threatening me. So I what can I do for you, you, Mr. Do Stone? If I told you I did. I didn't say I did or I didn't. I said, what'd you do if I told you? I mean, I'd, I'd, do, I'd do anything I could. You know, we, we could do a lot together. So you hypothetically have my family members hostage and you're not going to give them back to me unless I cut a deal with you about the outlaw order. Yes. Are you threatening to kill them or? Uh, kill's a strong word. Let's just say okay, they so may trip could... and fall and uh, die, maybe. Can you give me any proof of life? 